showers and storms pushing towards our region. Right now, we are looking at some damaging winds being the main threat. Have had plenty of reports throughout the past hour or so, especially for some counties just off to our west of some broken tree branches, maybe even some smaller trees down, uh, especially closer to the Toledo area and Port Clinton just saw um, some gusty conditions up that way. But we are going to start to see some of that action head our way. I will say a lot of the severe thunderstorm warnings that we are up earlier with the system have now been let to expire, but we still have this severe thunderstorm watch that'll last until about 10 o'clock and that is watching for the potential for some of those conditions to produce a severe thunderstorm warning. As of right now, this line continues to fall apart. If you look a little bit closer towards the Mansfield area, we're seeing that line start to break apart, a sign of weakening. And we've also seen the reports of wind gusts already start to weaken as well. Uh, we saw a 60 mile per hour gust closer to Toledo, Toledo. And then Port Clinton, we saw a gust of 40 miles per hour. So just showing you that this line is continuing to fall apart. We're still gonna see some uh, pretty loud thunderstorms our way. I wanna take you down to the Ca uh, Canton, New Philadelphia area where we are seeing a few showers and storms push off to the north and east. And then this line right now is pushing off to the east as well, starting to inch a little bit closer towards Lorain County and then moving into Ashland Mansfield, kind of like right along I-71 we'll see that also continue to get closer there. I'll put a track on that here in a second. Let's switch over to our stationary radar where we have kind of a better picture of this. As you can see, no severe thunderstorm warnings as of right now, but we saw all that frequent lightning and could see some gusty conditions along with it. So Vermilion now kind of in the heat of it all. Lorraine, you are starting to pick up on some of that light rain um, pushing into your region. So Illyria, you'll be next. Headed closer towards Norwalk, seeing some heavy rain, probably hearing some of that thunder, seeing the lightning. Willard also picking up on the heavy rain, so this will continue pushing towards Shelby and New London. Ashland, uh, some folks closer towards Milton, even uh, Akron, staying relatively calm, may see an isolated shower. Uh, a few of those popping up kind of ahead of this line, but most of us are in the clear. Even if we take it up to uh, parts of Cleveland, Parma, Mentor uh, Ashtabula still staying dry there. Maybe you even saw a few breaks of sunshine, maybe even a nice sunset. But if you do look out on the lake, probably a really good shelf cloud. I know we've seen a couple pictures uh, from some folks off to our western counties, Erie, Huron, uh, Lorraine, probably seeing a nice shelf cloud as well. And you kind of see this feature here. Let me get the pointer out right here a little bit of some outflow here. So some of those stronger winds pushing out ahead of the rain. So uh, sometimes on a nice summer night, you kind of get that cool breeze that rushes through the area. And that's kind of how you know rain is coming. Well, that is what we are seeing right there. All right, let's zoom out a little bit and I'll put a track on where we are seeing some of the thunderstorm activity. So again, damaging winds going to be the main threat in this. Haven't really seen too much in terms of hail reports, but can't rule out some small hail associated with this line. Let me know if you are seeing any of that. This will again push off to the east right around 25 miles per hour. So uh, as this continues to fall apart, we're going to get those kind of bubbles, those segments of showers and thunderstorms. Be a little bit closer towards Avon as we inch towards 813. Uh, Illyria right around 817 and then Lakewood at 826 and then we'll start to move into parts of downtown Cleveland right around 839 o'clock. So again, we'll continue to see this line. It is expected to weaken. A lot of our forecast models have expected this to fall apart as it continues to move off to the east and we are seeing some signs of that. But maybe some, uh, if you have patio furniture, if you're out ahead of the system, Twinsburg, Cuyahoga Falls, Chesterland, uh, maybe if you have that and it's pretty light, wouldn't it be a bad idea to run out, grab it, maybe bring it inside, bring it into your garage, because that could kind of get toppled over with uh, some of this system. And I'm pulling up the chat now, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to get to as many as I can this evening. Hey there, Deb. She says, I love storms. Nothing like a good winter storm. Amy says, can winter hurry up? 
so this rain will just go away. <laughs> so you, I don't know, Amy wants to switch rain for snow. That sounds like what I'm uh, hearing. All right. Uh, we have um, Bill asking about Wayne County. Uh, so right now, parts of Wayne County are staying relatively calm. We'll take this off for you. And we'll head down to parts of Wayne County. Uh, yeah, right now, staying pretty clear. Uh, you may have seen an isolated shower or two, but as of right now, not really seeing much action. I do think this line will break up enough uh, that maybe you'll see an isolated shower or storm. Uh, but this is a, if we kind of stretch this out, getting this a little bit close to I-71, uh, I'd say it will probably be to 71 right around 830, and then we'll probably be closer to uh, the Wayne County area, maybe around 840, uh, closer towards the 9 o'clock time frame. So hopefully that, that helps you out there. Um, Carrie is asking about Medina. Uh, kind of the same time frame, uh, Carrie. So Medina right now, you have some showers and storms uh, a little bit closer towards your region. I'd say probably around 8.30 you'll start to see that. Uh, right now you're still in the clear, but we'll start to have some of those gusty thunderstorms out your way. We do have the potential for some of these thunderstorms to produce wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour, but right now, um, this line right here, we're seeing wind gusts 40, so it seems like that is going to be the case as we continue throughout the night, unless we see these storms ramp up, which I'm really not seeing any sign of. We had those showers and storms move through earlier this morning, so kind of broke apart the atmosphere a little bit. Um, still could have some minor damage to maybe some outdoor objects, uh, maybe some broken down tree limbs, and maybe a half inch of hail. But again, we haven't really seen too many reports of hail across the region. Let's take this off, and I want to show you a few storm reports we have seen um, earlier this evening. Most of this was closer to the uh, Toledo area. Um, again, a lot of kind of broken tree branches, wind damage that we saw here. Uh, Port Clinton, we saw a few gusty winds. So right here, closer to the Bowling Green area, um, there was a large branch blocking the road. Um, just south of Bully Green, there were multiple large tree limbs down. Um, a 45-foot uh, TV tower, wow, that sounds kind of scary, uh, with damage to a nearby residence. So yeah, a lot of this has been off to our northwest, where some of those storms had enough energy to cause some damage. As they're approaching our region, really just kind of losing some steam here. We also turn on this hail product. Uh, looks like maybe a little bit of small hail. Uh, closer towards the North Fairfield area. Um, so if you're out that way um, seeing that, please let me know. Uh, of course, safely. We don't want anyone uh, headed out in some of these thunderstorms. We'll put this back on. And I want to do another time lapse of these showers and storms um, from the past hour or so. And you can see how that line, again, just falling apart. But out behind it, we do have a few showers on the way. And then looking back into some parts of Indiana, there are a few more storms out there. So we'll be watching for that as we head closer towards 10 o'clock tonight, if those hold together enough to make it to our region. So it seems like about everybody will be seeing some rain. Uh, Michelle asked for Lake County. Uh, yes, so Lake County, it's going to be a little bit before you start to see some rain. Let's turn our stationary radar back on because we still have uh, some of these showers and storms out over the lake itself. Let me turn this off so we can all see clearly. Um, some of the heavy rain now pushing into Lorraine, so Elyria, you'll be next. So this will be moving off from the lake. And again, moving off to the east right around 25 miles per hour. Um, so it'll be a little bit closer to uh, Lake County. I'd say right around the 8.30, 8.40 time frame. So if the kiddos were outside, uh, if you know um, anyone uh, that was traveling, just give them a little bit of heads up that they may have a bumpy ride here as we head into the 8.30, 9 o'clock hour. We'll do another scan of the radar here in a second. Let's talk about the rest of the forecast. So the if you're watching us earlier, Storm Prediction Center did upgrade 
parts of our area to that slight risk. Again, it was mainly for damaging winds and a little bit of some smaller hail. and can't rule out some of those heavier downpours. As we head closer towards 10 o'clock, we'll notice that band push into our region, start to move into parts of Geauga, Ashtabula, Trumbull, uh, Portage County, and then we'll start to see some rain fill in behind it. That's that area out in Indiana that I showed you. So we'll probably still be tracking some rain here as we head into the 1, 2 o'clock hour, but at that time we're not expecting a severe threat. So as we get closer towards midnight, 1 a.m., that severe threat will start to diminish. As we take into early tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., I'd say most places will be relatively clear. You may see a few raindrops here or there. Or roadways will probably be damp, but so far looking calm. And then into the late morning and early afternoon, another round of some showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm will start to move in, but uh, that is going to be non-severe, so no problems there. Hey, we made it to 89 degrees today, so close to 90 degrees. If we saw 90, it would have been the 14th time so far this year that we were to hit the 90s, but we were so close. It was so hot, so humid out there today. And that is the weather that Dante likes. I am going to be more of a fan of the weather we see a little later on in the week. Tomorrow, chance for some scattered showers and storms, again, mainly in the late morning and early afternoon. And then we'll start to dry things out as we head into the later part of the night and some lower humidity expected to move in as well. So dew points still hanging out in the upper 60s, low 70s. That will fall back into the 50s, so that comfortable zone as we head into the day uh, on Wednesday. And just a quick look at that eight-day forecast. You could see nice, beautiful stretch of weather here as we head into the next few days. We'll fall back into the 70s Wednesday, Thursday. Friday back into the 80s we go, but that lower humidity still going to be really nice. Several chances to open up the windows, enjoy the kind of crisp mornings, especially at Thursday into Friday where we could have some spots in the upper 50s. And then Labor Day weekend still looking really nice as we uh, have a relatively calm forecast. Chance for maybe a shower or two as we inch closer towards Sunday, but all in all things are looking pretty calm. All right, we'll give you one last look at the radar before we finish up here for the night because we still have our newscast coming up at 10 o'clock. All right, good to see that a lot of the showers and storms have fizzled out closer towards Bucyrus. You'll probably have some plain old rain and maybe even an isolated rumble of thunder move in. Marion so far looking pretty calm, some light to moderate rain in your neighborhood. Really just kind of watching for this segment that is pushing into parts of Lorraine, Cuyahoga County, um, and that will move into parts of Lake County, I'd say within the next 20 minutes or so. Um, main threat we're still looking at here again is gusty winds, so wind gusts um, 40 to 50 miles per hour is possible, so it could do a little bit of some minor damage out there. Also can't rule out some uh, ponding on the roadways for anyone doing any traveling. <laughs> Amy, I agree with you. I will take snow over tornado weather. <laughs> Fall and winter are some of my favorites. All right, well, we will be back at 10 o'clock tonight with another look at the radar. Uh, again, be safe, everyone, and you can always find the forecast online at fox8.com. Underneath our forecast discussion, we'll have that there, and again, at 10 o'clock tonight. Thanks for joining.